Hi everyone, so this is going to be a short one. If you've seen my part, I think two, three and four on Nicola Bully, may she rest in peace. I mentioned about the decomposition, definitely in level and um, definitely in part three and four of the body. Two simple questions. One will eliminate 70% and the second will eliminate virtually all. In the inquest, okay, what could have been asked by close members, friends, family, whoever, right? But when you're in that state, sometimes you need someone solid who can actually come through. Sometimes when you're in emotional turmoil, you're not thinking straight. Think when you have a stress day and you're just going about and sometimes even you're on autopilot driving somewhere and you realize, actually this day I need to pass by this place to grab a sandwich before work. And normally you don't. Sometimes you might just miss that turning. So we totally understand that. Two things though. Was the body's decomposition, deterioration, decomposition of a level of three weeks, 23 days of death? Yes. Okay, great. Not great, but like, thank you. I got an answer. Number two, was it the level of decomposition of 23 days in water or on earth? Because an answer towards 20 might not be able to be given but the difference between 7 to 23 and catch the next parts on the video because i'm going to be diving kind of asking on this asking spirit there is a difference that you can tell and that's how even in postmortems those of you that are coming through with comments about the postmortem etc should be able to tell okay and maybe they could tell The second question, if not, so one will give you a timeline of was, was there a death from the date of the missing until the date the body was found. It will give you a timeline if it was always in water. The second one is, if it wasn't 23 days of decomposition in the water, that means the body was not in the water then. That could also mean, depending on the days of decomposition, that the person was alive beyond the date of going missing, which was seems to be the date of the death as well. Those two questions, and then a question B after question one, and possibly a question 2B after question two, would really give significant answers. Because if it's the case that actually the decomposition is not 23 days. Okay, so what's happened? Someone's been involved because there's a statement that this was an accident from day one, the day of missing, between 9.20 and 9.35, that she must have fell in the river, but no one saw her. Even the dog walker that came after didn't see her. Um, and, or that, no, it's not the rate of decomposition of body in water. So the body was not either dead in water or kept in water or was in that water or was taken out of the water, regardless, accident or no accident. But it will tell you to look deeper. I'm going to link a video in the description box below. Um, check it out. It's one of a professor who you can clearly see is just being very authentic, presenting stuff at a lecture or a hall i'm not really quite sure it's short it wraps it up and it really touches base from a professor not from my point of view of where i've mentioned about the decomposition of the body is a big answer but also we understand that it was to be marked off as an accident and closure wanted to be given so that nicola can just rest in rest in peace so we know that why that wasn't prodded but also you're going to check other parts of my further parts as well as why that might be as well Okay, so um, there's no accusations. This is for our entertainment purposes only, but do check out the link below. You can also check out the channel because the channel actually, even on the home page, has some really good key contacts to be aware of. And all the videos on the channel are um, providing awareness. They're short, straight to the point, and it's not regurgitated stuff that you're going to see on other channels as well. It's 411 channel, the 411. So I'll link the video and then you can check out that channel as well but yeah 
just a bit of logic, a little bit of common sense, not pointing fingers on why it wasn't asked, not pointing fingers on why I do not or I do understand. I've given you two polarities, I can understand why not, why I'm not, I'm not in that position to question that, to make that judgment, but I am in, I can tell you that the questions I raise are logical and you can get straight answers from them. So take, every, take care everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like, subscribe and share as much as you wish to. Bye for now.